Hey guys, my name is Steady Egg and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. Where last episode, guys, we built our medium runway and started accepting medium planes on our medium stands. And now we're making medium amounts of profits. <laughs> uh, but today we're making a uh, considerable amount of money right now. We uh, I forgot to daily. I say considerable. Uh, we have lost money recently. But in terms of what we're making profit, that's what we get the numbers we're looking at right now. Over 200,000 on the previous day. This day is going to be on the way to that as well. If I don't spend it all, we get to keep the cash. But with that amount of profit that we are making a day before I do spend it, uh, that should be enough to now start, or well, to enable me to start building the larger terminal, which will eventually lead on to our larger planes. And uh, hopefully we can make even more sweet, sweet cash. So if you are enjoying this and want to see more, make sure you smash that like button down below. If you're on new around here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes come out. Oh, I felt like I was reading the terms of service right there. I had to say it so damn fast. Anyway, anywho, things are looking good. So today, I want to try and get the store here in so it will make us even more additional cash. We expended, extended uh, the restaurant and got Cafe Nero in here right now. And they make billions. Oh, well, they don't make billions, but they make big cash and we get a good revenue share from them. Uh, what else do we also do? We kind of um, oh, we need to also change the car park and build an underground one because we do we are starting to fill this up quite heavily at peak times. It'll be nice to kind of get a few more pennies coming out of that, and uh, maybe build a subway at some point, or maybe not. Allow them all to park their vehicles, make even more cash. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But this right now is probably as far as I'm going to go for this small airport using the small runway. We'll build a new one right now. Which will hopefully then will take the medium stands from the smaller one, put them onto the larger one with some large stands. I'm not going to go too crazy, too big. We're going to get to the point where you can maybe make us a couple of milli. And then I don't know whether I'll delete it all and then once I've unlocked all the tiles, build an even bigger and better airport. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we're about to try and build our second terminal. Now, I do know in the operations within the R&D... Oh, it would be a good idea to research the second project groups as well. But I think there's something to do with having secondary terminals. I could... Oh, there we go. Multiple terminal operations. So it unlocks the terminal assignment tool, uh, which is more than likely what we're going to need, but it's going to take two days to research. So I think what we should do is we re should research the project group one, uh, is it, wait, is that the one? Is that what I need? Hold on, let me come out of this. It is no, I, I need project group two. Oh, that's program one. Program one, how do I get project group two? Um, project group two, am I blind? Is it not here? How do I find this? How do I find it? Project group two, I don't see it. Do you reckon it's to do with this? What does this unlock? This will unlock... Oh, okay, so researching this unlocks Project Group 2, which means I can then research two things at once, because I can have something research in here, I can have something research in there as well. So basically, I can build this terminal, but I can't really have it fully functional uh, to separate the two terminals, like, like, efficiently, until I have that stuff researched. So in the meantime, we're going to do a few little configurations to get up and running. So first things first, then, we're going to... Um, hold on, staff, no, terminal, is this what I want? No, infrastructure, this is what I want. We're going to extend our sidewalk here, going down, but at the same time, we're going to delete all of this. So I don't know if I have to kind of turn this off to be able to delete it, or whether I can just delete it from the get-go. And we're going to create an underground system for our car park, which will give us more space to maneuver. Why can't I delete this bit there? That's really weird. I can't delete that little bit of path. Uh, this will be the little path anyway going around this for the entrance here. And we'll also plan out uh, the terminal spacing as well. Now, we've got the exit there for the baggage claim area, which we probably might just keep in. Like, and utilize this as well. Because we're going to try and make them all go for the same baggage claim area. So, if I made this come out by... So, it's a 16 by... Let's see by 25 I reckon that will be a good start that will be a good start and obviously we're going to then kind of progress upwards because there will eventually be a large runway that comes down here 
that's how we're going to see it. I might even stick it out a little bit further. Who knows? Because we've also got to build up. It's actually, do you know what? We will stick it a bit further. So that was 25, right? So if I do another 20, that's then 45. Is that too much? Let me do another 10. That would become 35. So we can have all the checking desks here. Then they go upwards into security. Yeah, I think that'll be as far as I want to go. Right, that's a lot of work right there that our workers now need to get done. So we have a little bit of a fast forward right now. Another reason why I need to get these two stands off and onto the large one because we don't have enough checking desks. Uh, like you guys saying, the rule of thumb is to have one per stand, which makes complete and utter sense uh, for what you were saying in the comment section in the last episode. Um, and obviously, I don't have that. Now, I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven small stands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six media, uh, uh, checking desks here. So I still break all my rules. I could, be, I, mean, I could extend it. That's not a problem. Do you know what? I probably could extend it. There's not really that much people sitting here taking up all this space, is there? Yeah, okay. We'll think about that. We'll think about it. All right, that's all been deleted. How do I get rid? Can we not now delete the path because it's right against the edge? Well, that's hilarious, isn't it? Right, we should have unlocked the ability to do the ramps. Uh, road tunnel for public going down. Which is perfect, boys. Perfect. And we're going to build this one here. So that will go down. And obviously underground, this is how it is. We then need to get one of them pops up. So going back up. Because you want it in a way in which you can have an, like an entrance and an exit. Now I'm wondering if it would be better to build this here to have an easy exit. But then again having this here if I had that there sweet so obviously they're driving on the right hand side they come in they go down and as they exit they exit on the left hand side uh, right hand side straight bam out should be easy enough for them well at least that's what I'm thinking anyway at least that's what I'm thinking right delete this a little bit of wall very good very good very good uh, that's kind of annoying how you don't get the straightness. It's it's a shame. It's a shambles, if you ask me. A shambles. Right. We're also going to set up everything down here too. So more sidewalk. And we'll do a two wide perimeter going around the whole of it. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Yep, there we go. There we go. Very good, very good, very good. And then for public roads. Now, I don't really want to cause too much chaos when it comes to the traffic. So is that going to be an issue? I, I, I don't know. I could do like a little bit of a roundabout here. That could work. It could work. Now, when it comes to the car parks. Where's the car parks? There we go. Uh, they are fairly large. And you're never going to get exactly how you want it to be, okay? It's never going to be how you want it. So you just got to suck it up. So I reckon... I can't get it over there because of how it's all set up. Alright, if I did one there, one there. And let me just do some roads. It ain't going to be perfect, this, okay? It ain't going to be perfect. I'm just doing what I can. We'll do a quick little perimeter going around the edge. Which that was going to do this way and this way. Uh, we'll have a road that kind of kicks out this way. That road that kicks out that way. They're already using the tunnel, which I find hilarious. And then let's get some more parking lots all set up. So you there. So we do just a couple backing on one another right now. Bam. Bam. Now, we do have space here to kind of implement maybe something going down this way, but I reckon I'd do it this way instead. So, actually, before I do all that anyway, public road, we'll bring this directly down. 
Now, I don't want too many because we're never going to fill them all. It's not going to be that type of airport where we have vast amounts of passengers. But I reckon we also connect to here. Pour us, pour us. Would that stay there? That's going to be awkward, this space, isn't it? It is going to be quite awkward. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, that's so awkward, isn't it? It really is. It really is. Right, anyway. Eddie who? A triple road right now? It's going to look really weird, isn't it? Yep. <sighs> right. I feel like this is a shambles. I've been quite calculated up until this point. Right, we do a car park here. That fits in quite nice. That doesn't quite fit in quite nice. That goes there. It definitely is a little bit of a shambles. Wait, hold on. Have I done service road? I think I may have built service road because these roads don't connect. Oh, you damn fool. I've only gone and built service roads, haven't I? Oh, no. Does he even know what he's doing anymore? The answer is no. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> right, we'll get there in the end. We'll get there in the end, boys. There's no stress. There's no dramas. Right, down. Perfect. Straight back up. Triple road network. And then in the gaps that we have, we fill it with sidewalk. And then we've got to do road crossings. Now, this is a lot of money. But over time, this will make us a lot of money and give us greater customer satisfaction. I've got a little roundabout set up there for entry and exits. I just realized they can kind of come and go from both sides. I don't know if you can kind of set it to one way. But it does make like a little life a little bit easier for us. Can we set it to be like one way? No, I think that's just how it is, isn't it? Yeah. Right, okay. So this is now needs to be set up to be like a certain thing. So by default, they're all short term. So if I go long term, long term, long term, and long term, see how that changes things. And we also need to do crossing, otherwise people can't get to where they, that they need to get to. They're just standing there missing their flights. So every junction, we'll set up a little crossing. Like this. Which will allow people to get from point A to point B. Oh, you can't do that because it's a tunnel. Alright, very good. Very good. Alright, do it this way as well. It's a bit weird that is there, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. So we can still at least access it. Right, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me, and we'll see how it goes. We've seen if you need to add any more car parking in, in certain areas, time go on. But they can then all access it, obviously, by the elevators, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, this is going to plan already, isn't it? So another way that we're going to make money then while we keep doing some expansions is building a store here. Now, did we research the store? That program thing is now done, right? So I can now, I can now research the project group too. Yep. Which will allow me then to unlock this. I also have this as well. So upkeep reduction costs. I have no uh, administrators. We'll get onto that a little bit later. So stores then. We'll zone this a shop. Very nice, very nice. We'll build some doors on it. Bam, bam. Let's 
it's good enough for me boys good enough for me and we got like a wooden floor there so i reckon we get like a another wooden floor in here for the store as well so for the store then which is this there's not many objects we kind of need i do need two counters oh that's not the rotate button this is the rotate button what type of count how, how does the counters go again goes like that right where the pointy bit sticks out to the customer yeah i think so so if i place one two three if i place three in and then we'll start with some wall mounted shelving actually scrap that idea Does he get rid of the zoning? No. Not like the restaurant then. Not like the restaurant. Right, what I was going to do then originally is do it like this. And let's see how far this goes up. Perfect. So this is all my wall mounted stuff. Wonderful. And then we've got uh, basic we got pedestal so we go for the large ones first to create some like aisles why do i put that there that makes no sense to be put there sediac figure it out mate what are you doing all right we'll go for them there the basic ones these are a lot bigger so we'll do one there, one there. Nice. And then pedestals. So these are great for ending. Just there and there. We'll then get, we've got the wall mounted. The nice ones. I don't know what nice means. Oh, I know what these are like. I could do that, 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 and that. This is going to be quite a crowded store, I ain't going to lie. Uh, ped and we've done the pedestal ones. What about the basic ones? Oh, they're just standard. I reckon we can get away with just that. I reckon we can. So, again, we'll have a little fast forward. Get all the objects in there placed in. So, we're making extra money from the car park then, since we can now park more vehicles. It's quite da uh, dark down here, so we need some lighting. So we'll make more money from car parking, which is good. And we're going to start getting more income coming in uh, in the actual terminal because we're now going to have a store. We're now going to have a store in here, so that will make us even more cash. So that's pretty good to go. We're just going to sign a contract. And do I go for, like, an actual company in real life? So who's going to be the biggest cut first? I've seen 33, the biggest one so far. 36, 18, 30... 31, 19, 39 from power. So, um, power's going to give me the biggest cut at 39%. So, I can't ignore that. That's over a third of their earnings. I'm going to get in a revenue bonus. So, let's sign the contract, fools. We've signed the contract. So, now we've done that then. That actually completes that goal that we currently had. Which is great. So, you're almost done. There's one more thing you need to learn. Remote stands. Um, okay. I don't really want to learn remote stands. <laughs> I, I never use them. I never use them. Oh, look how beautiful it looks. So, now we got a store. And they want 100, 210 sales a day. I didn't really take that into account. But seeing as this one does 600 and something a day, I'm assuming this can manage 200 a day. Right. Should do. Should do fairly easy. So, yeah. That's hopefully that terminal pretty much configured for, for the moment. For the time being. For the time being. Okay. Very good. So, we kind of need to plan out this terminal then. We really do. Now, is it something that I kind of wait until I've got more large stuff researched? Probably. Probably that is, will be the best idea. Uh, we still have this big issue, the fact that we don't have enough checking desks. And it is kind of annoying, but 
they're gonna have to kind of wait and then might have to be slightly delayed I don't know we got enough staff yeah enough vehicles yeah for at this moment in time anyway okay okay so if we're gonna funnel everybody from this terminal into here where we have another where the baggage claim area is gonna be we can use the same baggage claim area for, for both terminals in reality um, I don't need to worry about having anything around here so as they walk in I could instantly make it the restrooms both sides that would be pretty cool or do I do a shop in a restaurant as soon as they walk in? Because we, we've learned and we discovered it previously in past series that it, or we, we can obviously have a shop in a restaurant before they check in. So hopefully they utilize both with ease. And if I put one in here, people go into this terminal, might pop into the restaurant here before they walk over to that terminal. So it could pretty much serve as both. That would be really good. So they did get his daily sales. It was his first day, um, which I built it later on in the day, so we don't quite reach the daily sales, but we'll see what the next day brings for us. Yes, I think I might build a... Um, no, I'll build a restaurant, a store, build restrooms, then the check-in desks as we scheduled along. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to work. Right, we've got now both groups now set up, which is perfect. Um, right, let's try and figure out how we can kind of move forward then. So I need the multiple terminal operations. We'll at least get this started and have this in the background. And we need eight on it, which only have six admins for this. Right, staff-wise, we have to hire some more admins right now. Um, right, reject the weak ones, accept the green ones. I managed to get two out of that. Two. Which fully goes onto there. So if more Potanum operations is underway, uh, doing the large aircraft will unlock the large runway and large aircraft stand. Um, okay. Unlocking program group two means I can research. The What's structural engineering? Oh, it's the concrete stuff. Okay. Catering stuff. I'm trying to think, like, logistically. I know there's so much I want to get, but I'm trying to think, like, do I focus on stuff that will make me money first? Maybe. Maybe. Advanced runway lighting. Nah. Not just yet. <laughs> um, subway permit. You don't really earn anything from that. I mean, I could increase my baggage security. High-speed baggage conveyors. Automation. Oh, automation, of course. I don't have to hire as many staff members then, do I? Right, okay, applicants, hire you, reject. Hire, reject, hire, hire, hire. Oh, no, I just hired a weak one. Admins, fire you. Can't believe it has hired a weak one. Oh, higher, higher. Because uh, the more I hire, anyway, I can put them on these program stuff as well. So let me get the six on there. So let's reduce um, upkeep costs, salary costs, and that's it. That's all I can do for group one. Two and a two. Right, that stuff will take a while to get done, but I can at least set up the basics in here to get us progressing in that right direction. Oh, this is exciting, guys. <laughs> this is exciting. So it is kind of annoying how this wall is here. So I reckon what we'll kind of do right now is just kind of build this across so I can go right up against it. Meaning I can then get rid of that wall just there. Very good, very good, very good. So terminal-wise, in terms of the walls, we've also got to figure out as well where the door is going to be for the entrance. So if I come down one tile, two, three, four, and just after that tile, that's where we build our wall here. So that's just after the fourth. One, two, three, and then just after the fourth. And these become the two rooms that we're going to be building for the store and the restaurant. So it gives us quite a wide entry point. It really does. And these are the doors we get to work with. So if I do a one, two, a one, 
two and the two gaps. So you've got like a double entrance leading in. Which from the uh, the view of the road, we'll do a double crossing just there. It's not really central, but it is what it is. It's perfectly aligned for this this one here. But yeah, it's not perfectly central for all of it because it does. Ha oh wait, hold on, it hangs over by two. It, we should be hanging over by two over here. I've got a lake. Oh, how do you get rid of a lake? Oh, you can legit destroy it. <laughs> okay, we've got to hang over by two. Which means you've got to move everything down there by two. Right. <laughs> So that goes there. This is actually quite a large entryway right now, isn't it? All right, let them do what they gotta do anyway. Get that back in. And then double doors there. Perfect, boys, perfect. Now it aligns perfectly with the crossing. I might as well then, uh, just just bite the bullet and whoop, a little bit of sidewalk there, just kind of fill it all up. Perfect. Okay, give them time to kind of complete all this because it's quite a lot of shenanigans I've tried to get them to now do. Uh, but it now leads us into sorting out where I want the store and the restaurant. Now, obviously, this wall will continue to go across here because this will be a part. I mean, it could even be the extension for the baggage claim area if we kind of bring it out a little bit further. But if I bring this across to what we're saying. I, yeah, I think there will be perfect, to be honest with you. And that will be more than enough in terms of the size for the restaurant and the store that we're about to build. And then just after it, we'll then go to here. Where we'll build the restroom. And we'll do a restroom both sides as well. There we go, there we go, there we go. So that will go all the way across like that. That will cut that off. I want it all in line. So that's perfect then. And obviously all these restaurants in the store will be used by this terminal. I can see them coming in, buying something, and then going back over there. Because I ain't got the space to build it over here. Right, that should work out fairly well. And then we'll have a bunch of check-in desks here as well. Now, we don't get anything bigger than what we've currently got right now. We don't get like a large version of this, do we? I don't think we do. Hang on, that's the wrong one. Checking desk. I don't think we do. But we've got to figure out how we want to set this all up. I feel like we should have like a center aisle. And then one that backs on and backs on. I think that would be pretty cool. So, I've got to find the middle point. Which the middle point is, is this line here. So, go all the way down. And if I lead it in by, give us a, a four gap. So, if I go bam, bam. That's our middle point. So just base it off this for a minute. Desks, media. What's below us? Is the car, the car park's right below us? So ah, I'm gonna have to kind of we're gonna have to move the car park up in that direction. But we'll get onto that later. Well, we don't have to. It depends on where I reroute my uh, check-in desks. So if I had in say one there, and I'm doing it to the lines, one there. I'm just trying to figure out where the best positioning then would be for the next one. So we've given us a two space behind it. And if we kind of did the same here, like two space, even though this shares the, the same two space, it's enough space there for the for the queuing system, isn't it? A two space. Yeah. It's enough there for the queuing system. Got to make sure that these are turned off so they don't use them. <laughs> Could you imagine that they start checking people in from here? Oh no, that would not be a good idea. <laughs> but we, we, we get an idea of how the layout's going to be. All right, wait for them to build this. Perfect. So the space behind it is where we're going to run all our conveyor lines. So there's the wall there, and we'll just kind of like build a wall, like a little bit of a wall, then the next one, and so on and so on. That obviously run down there. This will run down to here. 
And it's just figuring out how far I want to take it. But I'm just, I'm just figuring out my layouts right now. Put some uh, little seat in here, some seating in the middle as well before they walk in and check in. So this it all works out. It's 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 going to be really really good. It's going to be really really good right now. Okay. 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 But I feel like I'm going to have to um, slightly move. I mean, depending on how far I can go, I just have to get rid of that car park there. Worst case scenario, so I can funnel the conveyor belts and make them go down underground there. So that will work out well anyway. Now this stuff is going to take a long, long time, especially that that two day one. But the way the game is running right now, we might be able to get to it, which would work out fairly well. So let's figure out then how many or the spacing of this. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So if I did a a two gap, do I do a two gap with that, or do I do it with? Oh, I did one gaps there. Now we'll do two gaps. Okay, we are, and we will do it with walls. So we'll do a two gap. One, two, three, four, five. Two gap. One, two, three, four, five. Two gap. Two, three, four, five. Two gap. One, two, three, four, five. Two gaps. That's one, two, three, four, five. That will be ten, fifteen, twenty. Is that too many? I don't know if that's too many. Where does the thing fall on the ground? So it's here. So if I put that right there. Okay, we'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five. And it will go up like this. Because then here, where my mouse is right now, if I go down, it's on that last car park, which you can get rid of. And that's where the, the ramp will go down. Okay, it will work out. It will work out. Okay, so this leading down here, bam, bam. This do, 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 leading here, bam. Okay, and all I'm going to do now is quickly just get in the gapped walls. I don't want to build all the checking desks just yet because I got to close them all off before they start using them. Is this easier not to use them right now? There. Bam. 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 And do it on this side. Well, bam, well, bam, well, bam. And then we'll throw in some plants real quick. Just to add a, a little bit of decoration while we can. And we'll go for the big trees. So this is what's going to divide all the little check-in desks, like the queues for them. And it will look really, really nice. It will look really, really nice when it's all done and dusted. And we might as well get in the little smaller ones for the end pieces there. Gotta make it look beautiful, boys. Gotta make it look beautiful. All right, in you go, in you go. Right, sweet. So that is six, 12, 24 checking desks. That is a lot. That's n I'm not even going to have 24 stands here. But if I ever want to maybe delete this and integrate this with this, there's a possibility for me to do that. There is a possibility because we're going to have so many stands. So many stands right now. But at least it gives us options. It's a bit o overkill, but it gives us options to expand in the future with no stress, no dramas, no worries. Right, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now, we're going to have the automation done real soon as well, which that in itself is going to unlock so many new possibilities to how we can integrate uh, the airport to make it automated to get people on and off planes without having to speak to anybody and that's going to change the game uh, also this could also become the international part of the airport as well yes I like it right okay so let's now zone then to like the restaurant and the store so that there is the restaurante 
this will become the store over here. Uh, we're going to have the bathroom. And of course, the bathroom just here. Now, if we build the doors, so we can go large doors to begin with, we'll do a. I'll do a gap away from it slightly, and then one directly in the center. So I can, if I want to run something on the side, the door's not going to be hugely in the way. Um, okay, we'll go for a smaller door with this, we'll go for the medium. Same kind of uh, thought process behind it. Add those in. And we'll start then with the bathrooms. So if I go all the way along there, if I did a two gap, I'm going to cross here. And then we'll treat this as the female one. So we'll, we'll bring a wall in here. Just to kind of separate them. I can extend the wall again there. So we give us our two little wide gap here. we we'll do some sinks and some, some dryers. And then that's perfect. All right, so sinks. Pause. Messed up that one there. So sinks in just there. And I need hand dryers. So wait for them to build a hand dryer, I can actually turn this bathroom on. So open that, and that is obviously gonna be any female. There's actually a bit of wall there that we're waiting for them to kind of complete. Yo, are you guys gonna complete the walls? What's going on? What's going on right now? Get some tiles down for the bathroom. Why are they not completing the walls? Oh, they've done one wall. <laughs> what's going on, boys? Honestly, what's going on right now? <laughs> Can someone complete the walls, please? It would be great. I would have. Oh, there we go. We completed the one. There's one remaining, boys. There's one remaining. <laughs> it's scary, man. They don't want to do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's all complete. Now it's all complete. So, um, building tools. We're actually going to quickly clone this. Because it's not that different to what I want to build in the male toilet. Apart from the fact that the room is not big enough how's that happened so a wall from there up is 150 170 we've got a free gap there one two three four What? <laughs> How is this not? Wait, what? So from there is 170. From here is 150. 170 would be there, which cutting across will give us a two gap, where this has got a three gap. How has that happened? Is it because of this wall? It's because of that wall, isn't it? Why they gotta do us dirty like that? Right, we're gonna match it anyway. I'm not ashamed. That whole wall throws us out. And it's that's stupid. But um doors. There we go. Um, 
floor. Right, even though that's slightly out right now, it's it's still in line. Leave me alone. That's really annoying though, isn't it? That really is. Right, should be out now. Oh, hang on, we gotta put it down the bathroom zone. Right, bathroom zone. Got a place down there, bathroom zone. So what's this? This is a franchise room for I don't know. Ah, there we go. You can tell by the different colours. Right, perfect. Right, anyway, where was we? Before I got rudely interrupted right now. Spin you right round. So I throw you in, and the only difference I'm going to do here, obviously, is the urinals. Which I'll place the urinals just go in here. And that's the only difference that makes it then a male toilet. And it's now open. And we're now good to go. So bathrooms are now both in. Really important. Oh, we've now done both of these. Perfect. Automation done. Multi-tunnel operations are now done. Perfect. Okay. So we can pretty much just go down the road of now just doing the basic stuff to kind of increase the satisfaction of the airport. So I reckon getting a subway permit will be a good idea. Right, we'll throw one person on that. There's no rush to get that done. And then we'll get our oh, baggage tier two right now. I think we'll hold out for that for just a moment. Procurement, maintenance. Uh, yes, that would also be a good idea as well. They'll, they'll clean stuff and repair stuff before it's urgent. So they're more proactive. In the AI behind it. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Okay. Good stuff. Real good stuff. So bathrooms are in. Let's get a uh, let's get the restaurant in. Let's let's just do this one for now. So restaurant, uh, we are going to sort out where they first buy the food. Uh, eventually, we have to we do, we do need to create what would be the kitchen area. Oh, I didn't put a door there. Okay, we'll do it later. We'll do okay. So we'll do this by flooring. We'll build it by flooring first. So if this is the center here, I'm going to go to there. Actually, I'll just cover all of this just now. So this will be my little marker point. But for the restaurant, I want the cashier counters large. And I always forget which way they need to go around. Right, I got you. I got you. I got you, boys. I got you. So one here, one there. Uh, we'll do one here. Uh, oh, one there. Do you reckon four's enough? Should be. It should be. Right. Food count is in. And... I'm going to build it as a wall. We just get a door in either side. Very nice. Very nice. So then for the restaurante then. We'll place in the middle. All the other stuff. So we'll have some display fridges here. Which is definitely not going to be enough. So lots of display fridge, you can grab some ready-made meals. And all that jazz. They tend to want more display fridges than anything else. So snacks we'll put at the very end of each of the display fridges just there. And then we'll put sandwiches on the other end of them. And then we need to kind of set up the coffee machine. Which you go one there, one there. And the beer tap. There we go. A little bit of space in front there for the queuing system. 
and then tables and chairs all the way around. Now, I'm going to be super lazy here. I'm going to clone these tables and chairs, make my life ten times easier. And we'll start right in the corner and then start placing these all the way down and just see how far we can go. Oh, that works out perfect. All right, we'll stay with that for now. I think that's reasonable enough to ask. I really like this. This has actually turned out fairly well. So let me just finish up the rest of this. Let me get some nice wooden flooring down. Oh, we're missing this little bit here and here. So that's turned out better than I expected. In terms of signing a contract then, this is who we now have the ability to sign it to. Is there anybody that we kind of... Ah, oh, do you know what we need to get? Oh, no, we can't get it to the likes of, like, McDonald's or stuff like that because you need it to be, a, like, a restaurant restaurant and have a kitchen. Now, that's something that we have to research eventually. But I'll set this up for a basic one. Um, oh, custom, custom wants to give us literally half their money. Sign me up. Now, this will be a good example to how busy it's going to be before they check in because it's only really going to be these guys over here using it so it'll be quite fun to see and how many sales they need a day 240 i mean it is night time they're going to miss out on the on today's sales but it's happening I don't know if anybody who comes after they've like landed and picked other bags wants to kind of buy anything. I don't know if that is the case. But it's interesting to say the least. Uh, we'll look for some chairs then next. Let's see where I can kind of squeeze some in. So if I did one there, one there. Oh, that fits, that fit, fits too perfect. Couple of chairs just there. We'll get some in the middle as well. Fits too perfect, boys. Okay. So sales already at 44, considering it's like like three hours left of the day when I built it. I'm greatly impressed. So that'll be interesting to see what happens on the next day. So subway permit's almost done. We'll try and get that completed. And do you think it'll be a good idea to get the... Um, the the quality restaurants done i might as well i might as well so uh we can get like a, a better business in there and i can get this all set up for a kitchen as well i've built them with a kitchen in mind so we can really increase the customer customer satisfaction so although it's very, very basic and we don't feel like I've done much, we've kind of really fine-tuned the whole airport. Spent money like crazy, don't get me wrong, but we are making profit. And I've got over a million in the bank right now, which is a lot more than what I started with. And I've probably spent more than a million at the same time as well. Yeah. Car parks do be looking busy and full. I think, it, you know what, we need more than what we've got. But when I build the subway, which I've now got the permit for, People might stop arriving via vehicle. So I've got to build the subway. Where would be the best position for the subway to be built? Yeah, I reckon we do it here then. So sticks out by two. And then we'll build four of them. It might be a bit overkill. But it gives us... A considerable amount of passenger integration. So 400,000 there, straight on subways. But that should give us huge capacity of getting people in and out of the area so much quicker. But at the same time, it will reduce the amount of people coming via vehicle and parking their car at the airport. Which I'm okay with that because it means I don't have to build any more car parks right now. 
So we've got like a queue here of people trying to go home. Now we've got a subway. It looks like they go down and pop back up, doesn't it? <laughs> it is funny. It's a shame you can't control the, the ticket price, but it's nothing to do with us, though, is it? It's going to be nothing to do with us. Can we get some additional lights here? Uh, lighting. Is there such thing as like wall lights? There isn't really, is there? Shame you can't get like wall lights. But uh, I suppose it is what it is. It is what it is, boys. It is what it is. So we're literally only six hours of the day into today. Thirty-one sales already. When oh, it opened up four, so we've been open. This has been open like just over three hours, uh, just over two hours. Uh, now three hours. So it'd be interesting to see what the revenue or the amount of ped uh, ped um, pedestrians, passengers, it actually gets throughout a day. And I believe we also unlocked the uh, check-in desks, like the automated ones. So check-in desk, baggage drop. We got the gates as well. Self check-in and a baggage drop. Can we squeeze something like that in here? I reckon we should do it here. So a self check-in. I just gotta be near a baggage drop, so I gotta build the baggage drop first. So if I build that there and say that here. Whoops. Right, I'm, d I'm just testing it out for now. Just testing it out for now. Let's see what it's all like. Now, obviously, we got to build a ramp to it. So the ramp's got to go down. Oh wait, hold on, I've got this the wrong way around. I just realised it's the wrong way around. Alright, that's how it needed to go. <laughs> Alright, going down. And then we just need to get it connected to this down here. That's, that's Oh, no, we can actually get it connected going straight down. So if I build the conveyor belt, so obviously this going that way. And that would run to there. Oh, it doesn't actually go for baggage scanning. Alright, scrap that. Scrap that. I forgot about the baggage scanning. Well, we need high speed conveyors at some point. But it's not too much of a journey. Alright, that's all it needs to do. It's an awkward position for it, but it would alleviate the pressures slightly, I'm hoping, for here. It's just a case, does anybody want to use it? Alright, I've got to connect to the baggage bay. So both connect to the baggage bay. I wonder if anybody will use it. It's not in the ideal location. But it all helps, right? Anybody? Do we have any takers? Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna reach its goal, easy. Any takers for the baggage? Ch self checking. So we've got flights linked up to them. 
I'm hoping that it's not too busy. It's all connected under underneath, right? Yep. Oh, there we go. People are using it and dropping off their bags. Okay, that's pretty cool. So every... Oh, this is my issue. It was the... Uh, the pure... Backlog it might create. I say everybody that uses this doesn't use this system. But this is the downside is it takes a while. Might not have been a good idea. They don't distribute themselves evenly as well. What are we waiting for here? I don't know what they're waiting for there. Please don't tell me they're broken. <laughs> oh. Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll see as time goes on. Uh, have you made your daily sales? Yes. Yes, you have. So, we begin the progression right now of building the larger terminal. There's a lot that goes into it than you think. And I can't build, I couldn't have built it all today anyway because I didn't have enough my cash. But uh, we're going to get to the point where we are rocking and rolling. Now, I don't know what's going on here. I think there's a passenger who might be slightly stuck. I don't know what you meant to do with them. But I don't know if this is a good idea. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But we'll end it here anyway, guys. We're going to make some good progression right now towards building the larger terminal. Now we've got the multi-terminal thing all set up. So until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.